Right, I've got here a digital Americana and I'm going to show you um, one of the functions that's quite neat and some people make good use of. Um, the start of the story is if you give us no instruction on a jukebox hire, it will come with the best part of give or take 30,000 songs or so, 1950s through to modern day. And it's all strong pop and it's all stuff you know and recognise, um, sort of nothing weird and wonderful. But we do do weird and wonderful as well. So, you know, we've got rock music and punk rock and country and western, you know, which is not everybody's cup of tea and is not what everybody would expect to see on a standard jukebox mix. But it is still hidden away on the um, jukebox. So if you're kind of minded to, at some point in the party, think, oh, I'm going to treat myself to a bit of a guilty pleasure late in the evening or some point, um, you can use a function. This is our hidden tracks function to search not only the music that's in front of you but the music that's hidden away so i'm going to demonstrate this with an acdc track so i love acdc terrific band but it's not necessarily what i'd want to hear at a normal party there's a time and a place but um once the party gets going maybe you've had a few drinks and you've got a few friends there that may change but anyway it's up to you so it's kind of thing you might want to keep to yourself um so it's your party and you kind of keep this functionality to yourself and should you really want to use it later on you can so anyway so at the moment i'm going to bring up the search box and i'm going to search for acdc which i'm going to do by ac and a forward slash and we've got no results whatsoever there's no acdc on the standard mix of music however if i bring up the keyboard again i'm going to delete the ac and forward slash and i type hidden tracks with a space on. It says the searching, searching hidden tracks turned on. So now if we search for the same track, it's searching the hidden music. So we bring up the keyboard again and we're gonna search for A, C, forward slash, and then suddenly we're finding AC, DC albums. So you can then make a selection um, choose your ACDC song, you skip forward to that. And then what's clever as well is that song is then retained on the normal front screen. So when you wanted, if you want to play that song again later in the evening, you don't have to go back searching for um, the song necessarily. You can just scroll through and see it sitting on the normal supply of music. If you played it kind of got it out of your system and then wanted um, not to see any more later on in the evening, um, just type hidden tracks. Hidden tracks off. And then the searching of the hidden tracks then disappears. Um, and if we wanted to lose the one track that we've on there, we're gonna type hidden tracks reset and it will hide reset all you reset all use hidden tracks to be hidden again and we type yes and then they all disappear it's if i say something it's slightly convoluted if you want, want a better word but it is a quite a neat function when we've had parties ourselves we kind of find us using it so in the early part of the night um, you just have all your standard pop and the stuff you know that gets everybody up dancing and then it's kind of when it's sort of last man standing towards the end of the night and it's you and some good friends and you kind of know that you, know, you like that type of music you can treat yourself to it and it's there if you want it um, hope that makes sense and I've not overly complicated it um, thanks for watching